Everybody hates Rudy Gobert. So leave. All these big name players, they eventually leave those small market teams. Players want to win. It's really all it is. If we say fuck all the small markets, what's the point of even having a small market team? So Pat Bev said that Anthony Edwards needs to get out of Minnesota. Does he need to get out of Minnesota? He will get out of Minnesota. Okay. I mean, that's, that's, just okay. what, that's just what happens. You feel me? With that personality, he can change the world. I agree on this. I think that players like that need to be in big markets or at least need to be in like semi-big markets at least because obviously when you look at this, the talent standpoint, like you have hopes for Minnesota, but it's realistically it's Minnesota. You're not going to win a championship there. But it's not that he can't be a superstar there. I just think that his game and his elevation is going to be better if he goes somewhere else where he's in a bigger market. You're going to have more eyes on you. And people are going to love you, and they're going to get to see you more and more primetime games. And also, on top of that, you can get big-name free agents to come fuck with you if you're trying to build a motherfucking team. I agree. Anthony Edwards should leave. I don't think it's for the big market reason. I know you'll probably agree with this, Colin. If we say fuck all the small markets, what's the point of even having the small market teams? It's a mix of why players should leave places. It's the organization. Like, Minnesota is, like obviously not the best headed organization but like a smaller market team that has a better organization structure around them could win but like yeah he should leave minnesota because fucking rudy gobert's there leave rudy gobert that's that's where your issue started is when they traded all their picks and and players for rudy gobert and the team hates him the team doesn't like rudy gobert minnesota's not going to do anything because that organization the team is dysfunctional and anthony ambrose deserves a better structure around them but i don't think it's just because like Minnesota like I very much believe that if you're good enough you'll be a superstar no matter where you're at the NBA is such a global game now we all can watch anyone do any highlight from anywhere on our phones it goes to what you said about yeah. uh Rudy Gobert thing it's like there's just like a log jam like in that system they have so much money committed to him they have so much draft capital that is out the window committed to him that's why they're talking about moving Cat instead of Gobert like Cat is like better than Gobert I know you guys don't like either of them I'm not saying I love either of them either but Cat I think is a better player yeah. he's way more versatile he can shoot the ball he doesn't get run off the floor in the playoffs like Gobert does but they're talking about trading Cat to try to maybe like break down that long jam and it's only because Cat is a more intriguing piece because he's not attached to a fat deal he can be a superstar there right but when I think about I think about Kevin Durant I think about Russ I think about what was built there and how people love them but they also had success right Kevin Durant was the MVP they went to the finals but what ended up happening Kevin Durant left and don't get me wrong Russ stayed became Mr. Triple Double MVP he was already a superstar at that point but eventually you're gonna have to leave you're right it's a global game you can watch him whatever at this point the NBA is like the biggest shit in the world you don't really need to leave to become a superstar right people already see you they know who you are but in terms of like his career if he wants to go and win he's gonna have to leave and when you think about the big players over time they always left Shaq left or uh, KD left or whoever LeBron left like all these big name players they eventually leave those small market teams because they can't get free agents to come there to play with them it just depends on like what you have already there like I'm sure a free agent will want to come play with Shai in uh Shay in OKC players want to win is yeah all, is that's really the main all thing. it is how did Paul George and Camilla Anthony get to OKC trade right yeah yeah regardless Paul George resigned and after he was like unfinished business they did yeah, that yeah, yeah, that yeah, shit yeah. didn't work out it's two not, years. Yeah. Yeah. he went to LA yeah. now the Clippers weren't bad but at that point in time I don't think the Clippers were in position to win a championship he got Kawhi they got Kawhi, they got Kawhi, Kawhi the and somewhere. then they traded for Paul George my point is well obviously you have a chance when you get Kawhi at that point just coming off a championship but like <laughs> it's the market right he wanted to leave OKC after a certain point teams like OKC right. In Minnesota, they have to build through the draft. Everyone has to build through the draft now because yeah. free agency is dead. Everyone's signing but, but extensions at, instead of because they can make more money that way. But like, when's the last like big name player that went to a small market that I can think of like off the top? Miami is like a smaller market. People don't think of it that way because it's this great, super successful franchise. But as far as money coming in and out of the city, Miami is not like a. Well, huge, Miami's big Miami's market. also a big destination. It's got a cool. It's got a nice beach. Miami's a big destination for free agency because of. The, the tax laws there. Uh, yeah. the location and tax laws. There's no income tax. Players don't have a problem going to Miami. You know what I mean? Like, yes. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. There's a difference between Miami and Orlando. Oh, there's a big difference. Yeah. <laughs> I think, though, that also, like, small market teams maybe kind of, like, know they have to build through the draft, retaining guys rather than trying to attract free agents. And so, therefore, they, like, attack off seasons that way. Like, yeah, like the this. Spurs built one of the best dynasties ever just yes. by drafting and, like, retaining. They... We're not often going out and saying like, hey, come look at us, come over, come eat lobster like in our clubhouse. No, we'll, we'll wine and dine the fuck out of you. Does J-Bye make you angry? Well, that's good. Let us know in the comments. Like and subscribe, baby.